Hello friends, let us recall addition subtraction of integers. Here I have drawn two symbols you can see over here. This type of symbol represents minus 1 and this type of symbol let us take it as plus 1. So when this type of two symbols get interlocked you can see over here in the figure then it means that this is minus 1 plus 1 it's 0. No gap will be in between when they will get close closer to each other. Now say you want minus 2 plus 2 that means this type of you need two symbols 1 and 2 minus 2 plus 2 that means this type of two symbols you require that is you will have it like this 1 and 2. So it means they get interlocked and you can find out that this is also 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Say you are given uh, say minus 3 plus 2. That is when you want to represent it through the figure I can have it as minus type of 3 symbols minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and now plus 2 that means I need this type of two symbols 1 and 2 so this two symbols you can see that they will get interlocked but this type of one symbol still remains that is minus 1 okay one more example let us see that if it is say minus 1 minus 2 so this type of symbol you need 1 and now when this is minus 2 again you require this type of 2 symbols. So it will be like this again 1 and 2. Will they get interlocked? No. You can see that this space is still remaining. So it's not 3 or minus 3. It will be yes, minus 3. Again, you can see that they will not get interlocked. So, all the symbol remains is of this type only. That is minus 3. Okay. Let us say that uh, if it is given, say 5 plus 3. That means you have this type of 5 symbols. 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, three symbols. So here you will have one, two, and three. Will they get interlocked? No. So what is the answer? Eight. And you know that five plus three is eight. Class one children also can do it. In short, what you need to do is... Any question when given is say minus 5, minus 3. What you need to do is you have to think which are the symbols given. Read the number along with the symbol. So when same sign integers are given, you have to add it and the sign will be also same. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Answer will be minus 8 because minus is given. 5 plus 3 is 8 which you know it. If no sign is given, you have to consider it as plus sign. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8. This symbol always you can take it as plus 1. Here you can see that same sign when given you need to add the integers when opposite sign are given say 5 minus 8 so here no sign is given consider it as plus 5 so when opposite signs are given subtract the integers that is 8 minus 5 is 3 and 8 that is the bigger number is having negative sign so you will have answer in negative because you can see that 
five symbols will get interlocked but three symbols of like this will remain that is minus 3 say you have 7 uh, minus 2 that is opposite sign are you are having that is plus 7 and minus 2 that is opposite sign so you will separate the integers 7 minus 2 is 5 which is the greater number 7 is having positive sign so answer is plus 5 even if you don't write plus sign then also 5 is always considered as positive number okay now say you are having let us go for little higher question. Say minus 5, minus 3, plus 2. Find out which are the numbers having same sign. Add them. Always remember that you have to read the number along with the sign. So, these two numbers are having same sign. Add them 5, minus 5, minus 3. That is you will have it as minus 8, plus 2. Now, these two numbers are having opposite sign. So, you need to subtract 8 and 2, 6 and 8 is the greater number. So, along with the 8, along with 8, which is the sign minus, so answer will be minus 6. Let us see one more example. Say, uh, 5 minus 3 minus 2 plus 6 minus 3. Now, here you can see, uh, no sign is given, so you will consider it as plus sign. Find out the numbers which are having same sign. So, this, this and this. Add them. So, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 3, 8 with minus sign, so minus 8. And these two numbers are having same sign, so 5 plus 6 you will have it as 6 plus 5 11 and now you can see the numbers are having opposite signs so you need to subtract the integers so 8 11 minus 8 is 3 and 8 and 11 which is the bigger number 11 so with a positive sign so answer is plus 3 okay one more example we will see say you have uh, 5 minus 8 minus 7 plus 2 plus 6 okay find out the numbers having same sign so this 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 are having same sign and this two are also having same sign we'll put a circle add the numbers having same sign 7 and 8 15 and 5 20 with negative sign so minus 20 6 plus 2 8 so plus 8 now the numbers are having opposite sign so you need to subtract the integers 20 minus 8 12 20 is bigger number having negative sign so answer will be minus 12 fine i hope you understood addition and subtraction of integers now remember that i never introduced bracket over there so now whenever the bracket sign is given what you need to understand is because sometimes what happens we fail to understand which operation we have to do it okay so when this the number say minus 5 minus minus 7 is given what you need to do is you have to consider bracket as uh, outside the bracket if nothing is given that means 1 is always there so, it means that it is given minus 1 into minus 7. Okay. Now, whenever multiplication or division of integers you have been given, what you have to remember is, uh, one more simple figure, try to understand it. Let us see the Mickey Mouse given over here. This figure will be very much beneficial when you have to go for multiplication and division of integers minus minus plus and these two are the operations now say when you have say uh, minus or minus 2 into 5 as i said 
whenever bracket is given you have to understand that it is multiplication given over here or you may write it as minus 2 into 5 both are one and the same now the second step what you need to do is find out the numbers along with the sign that is minus cover that part minus and this is plus 5 so this two you need to cover it what remains is the answer of the uh, sign of the answer that is minus and 5 twos are 10 so this will be minus 10 okay let us see the second example say you have uh, minus 2 into minus 5 so here what you will do is minus and minus you need to cover what remains is plus so you will the uh, you will multiply the numbers 5 twos are 10 and the sign is positive minus 2 into minus 5 is 10 say uh, third example let us see I will write it little bit complicated uh, uh, say 2 minus 5 minus minus 3 so here 2 minus 5 now minus and minus as this is minus given in the bracket you have to understand that it is multiplication over here so this will be minus and minus so this becomes plus so write it as plus 3 now find out the numbers having same sign so 2 and 3 are having same sign so 5 and minus 5 this will be 0 say one more example uh, minus 3 minus minus 2 plus minus 6 now again we will remove the bracket so you will have minus 3 minus minus so cover those two parts so plus will remain plus 2 plus minus plus and minus cover it you have minus write minus there find out the numbers having same sign minus 3 and minus 6 will be minus 9 plus 2 numbers are having opposite signs subtract it and sign of the bigger number that is minus thank you